time to mess with MFF again. Thursday morning, and once again, MF will not wake up, right? <laughs> Without the help of us. Sorry, it's kind of dirty. We got a siren. We got a siren, so let's go wake up, MF. <laughs> Wake your butt up! You keep trying uh, to sleep. You, you, you win, keep, you win. You keep trying to sleep <laughs> really late. You keep trying to sleep too late. Hey, don't. <laughs> Seriously, dude, answer me this. How come when we were planning the trip, all you've been talking about was, oh, we're going to be pranking D-Crack, but literally it's backfiring. We've pranked you every single morning. <laughs> I'm the first one who's always up. Right, and then I was second. I had a pee, so I got up, and then it seems like whenever I get out of bed, Austin wakes up. Yeah. So we're going to eat lunch. You would start as I start. Yes, I am. We're going to eat lunch here, yeah. We're going to lunch. I'm probably going to get a burger. A burger, yeah. Oh, you know, she had a burger before. <laughs> I've been here before. She had a burger here before. I have. Oh, yeah. We got our little... We yeah, got so guys, this is what I got for lunch. Right, I got, guys. Good God! All right, guys. Wait, <laughs> the second I start recording, everybody's it's so funny. I got the Austin big. Austin got his food. Dan got his food. Can't even talk. And I got my food, which is good. <laughs> yeah, they both got burgers. I got the Hardy Man breakfast: eggs, potatoes, bacon, pancakes. So I'm good to go. Yes, Austin's no, good to go. Yes. All right, I'm here to get my tattoo at Divine Machine. And it's gonna be great. Yes. All right. Hey, MFF has took us to a place called Canal Side. I've never heard of it. I've never been to it, so I don't know what it is. Guys, it, it's a it's a beautiful waterfront. It's a waterfront. Yeah. It, yeah. You get to see the lake over here. Even hey, guys, okay. Okay. Me really quick. Even though you see all this right here, when we get further, it opens up. All right. So. All right. So we're leaving David behind because he's scared to leave his car because he's got to pay for for parking and he don't have no money yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. So. Is that it there? That's the waterfront? Alright. Yeah. What's down here? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> railroad. Really deep railroad. So there's that little statue you were talking about, the creepy shark yeah. girl. So there's a shark girl right over here. Yeah. Shark girl and where's Lava Boy? So this is the waterfront then? Yeah. Dude, it's like empty. Like it's all dried up. Yeah, they, they do that. Oh, uh, so they, they can actually fill this up? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. We go watch it. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, here it is. We can, we're actually down here where the water the water goes up to all the way top here. No, it's like it's like an inch or two above here. Nice. We're basically in the heart of downtown Buffalo right now. The what? We're in the heart of downtown. The heart of downtown. The heart. All right, so MFS just found a freaking snail. I don't know why he's wearing it on his arm. Oh, it's moving on his hand. Yeah, they, they move. They move. They move really slow. All right, I think we should go back to D-Crack. All right, we, we got the snail. We're gonna give it to D we're gonna give it to David. Okay, we got a surprise for you, Dave. Or D-Crack. Dude, he found silver. I found silver. Here, look. What are you talking about? He found freaking silver. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> like it's crawling on your hand. Wait, you found those on the trees earlier. The you, know, little bunny, you, got a you got a booger on your arm now. <laughs> He's leaving <laughs> snails behind. Like, where the hell did you find silver? <laughs> we did. <laughs> Alright, let's head out. It's like, yay! yay. All right, we're back at the house. We're gonna chill here for a little while, then we may go out and do some cool stuff later. And we might 
I don't, don't, let's, not, let's not spoil this. Not spoil the surprise. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil let's it. Let's not spoil it. It might be real fun later. All right, here's the finished product with the wrapping off. Look at that. Looks really good. I'm, I'm glad I got it. Now I got five tattoos. One, two, three, four, and five. We're just chilling at the house and D Crack is playing Fortnite. Yay! He's going yeah. to die. He's going to die because he's, he's a noob. Oh my god. They're injected. Oh, they're injected. Oh, they've got nothing better to do. That's what I told you. David. Stop. You can't let shit like for good. Yes. <laughs> okay, this one. You like them? You know, good. Uh, you know they said, they said uh, I look, look like I was wearing. Where are we going again? It's called the Richardson Olmstead Complex. And it's, it was a once an asylum. Yes. Yeah, and it's <laughs> and, oh. it, and it looks just like the asylum from the game Outlast. Yeah. Holy crap. And it's based on it. It's based yeah. off. It's, ba it's, it's based off of it. Yeah, dude, it doesn't look like it. It isn't. It's like identical. We're gonna go check that out. It's like 30 minutes away and it's like nine o'clock at night. But Oh, we might go get some an ice cream for the tree. We Trevor might get ice some ice cream for a treat. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting ice cream for a treat. Yes. Yeah. 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 We got ice cream for a treat. Yeah. I got him ice cream for a treat. Hey, she actually tipped it over. Watch. Yeah, that's what they do it. Yeah, you ever seen the meme where the dude tips it over and it yeah, falls in his lap? Oh, <laughs> Dude, this is the freaking uh, mental asylum that's based in the game Outlast, and holy crap, this is scary. This is the scariest looking building I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna show some screenshots of the actual one in the game, and tell me if you see any any similarities. Dude, this Dude, is the this is abandoned. This is the side that's abandoned right here. The other part's a hotel. Yeah, there's. The other side of this place is a hotel. This Should is the we just ask if we can go inside? Can we walk around and film, like on the outside? Yeah, like, I'm gonna go. In, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna at least see if we can get some good footage. Dude, we are literally in Outlast game. We are in real life. Look at <laughs> what the little tunnel. Is that in the game? Yes. yes. No. <laughs> dude, I never played the game, so I don't. Okay, I don't know. Is dude. there park? Dude, is there? Is there? I think there's parking over here. Look, Look at the doors. Look at this. This. This is exactly the freaking same. Is that the freaking lobby? The stairs like that in the game? Yes! Yes. Dude! Look at the, look at the upstairs. It's actually blocked off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside and ask the lady and see if we can come in here and explore a little bit. Maybe film some stuff. But uh, if they won't let us, we may just film the outside here. So we'll see what happens. Guys, just, just, just let me do the talking. I had to sign a f***ing waiver to You're make sure. You're joking. In where? We can go. We can walk around for a few minutes. Are you serious? Oh Bro. This is so freaking scary. This is the tunnel. That's in the game. No. Yes. It's down the game. What is this? Why does the carpet look like that? Dude. I'm getting some May Shining vibes right now. Dude, this is hallway. You're right, dude. Oh God, there's Georgie's boat. Georgie's boat. Georgie's boat. All right, guys, we're gonna get on the elevator. And... Dude, listen, we're gonna get on the elevator. We're gonna go as high as it'll let us go. It goes up to the fourth floor. We'll go to the fourth. We'll go to the fourth. Historic stairs. This must be the bar. Oh, dude, no, fuck this. Oh, dude, screw this. This is, dude, this is so freaking scary. Dude, should we go to floor two? I don't really know where else to explore. Let's go to floor three. And maybe that'll be a better. Oh. There's a, so we, we literally want the highest we can go. This is the highest you can go for us. I'm sure the people who own this place can go a lot higher, but I don't think they would. Dude, it's, it's, it stinks in this floor. Oh, only this floor. Why this floor? 
has a stake in this floor. Stairs that go nowhere. What? Dude, look at these stairs. They go absolutely nowhere. It's like a conference room. Yo, what the hell is this? This is the way to get to the other side. Here, we're in the middle section. It's where it wraps around you in the next. Yeah, look at this. Dude, there's, these are rooms 300 through 26. Guys, we found this door wide open. We don't. It's a room, apparently. No, it's multiple rooms. Oh, it's two rooms. That's like, that's like the honeymoon suite. <laughs> yeah, for some loving, yeah. She got an extra wall for sound. <laughs> Dude, I'm not joking. Like, the second I came here, my... my my chest is like tight. It's like really tight in here. Dude, all I'm gonna say too is you know, you know in the late 1800s, early 1900s, they people with disabilities who had mental problems, they treated them very poorly. Yeah, and they would lock them. They in would leave them. They yeah. would put them in. They would put them in like bathtubs with ice water, thinking it would like cure them. There's Dude, lots of twists. We're literally ways. standing in a place where it, thousands, thousands, and thousands of people have died, mistreated, mistreated. And I, I, like, do you, when you came here, did you have trouble breathing a little bit? I, I, just, yeah, I, just, I, I just feel, I feel congested a little bit. You know what? They probably totally blocked it off, but the original building, I guarantee, on one of the floors. What do they have? Where's the Mickey bodies? Oh my god. The morgue. I guarantee in the morgue, there would be a big metal chute that would, would put bodies oh, yeah. in and it would drop it down to ground level. To uh, would, incinerate it or, or yeah, bury. They that would have incinerate it. Don't Dude, hey, we have not seen hardly anybody in here. It's anybody? Dead. It's dead, dead. But they're, it's like it's like everyone's just staying in their rooms. Wouldn't you? I wouldn't want to come out here in the middle of the night. You know, I just realized there was a floor below level one, so we're gonna see what it is. There's a bee. I was scared. This is where the freaking morgue was. How cold it is? It's very cold. Let's go this way. We are. We are exploring. Look at that door. Oh This is hella creepy. Like low key, this is probably where they, this is where they brought the bodies down to the bottom floor. Did you knock into that? I don't know if my shirt caught anywhere. I don't know. You're though. scared. What was that? That's something. All right, guys. Here's the, guys, the here's uh, the abandoned part. You can see where there's lights, and then. Did you hear what I just said? What? He said those cages there were so inmates could go outside. Yes. In the sunlight. Yes, that's right. I didn't know that. This is where the uh, inmates could come out and get some sunlight. They couldn't go out outside outside because they would try to escape. This is where they would stand when, uh, for like recreational purposes. We're able to come outside because look at the door. There's a little door right there for people to get out. They're all over here too. Up here, up here, and they're on the other side of the whole building. Dude, look, it, it goes back even further. Look at all these empty, dark corridors here. Look at all this. Mount Massive Asylum is the name that they called in the game Outlast, but uh, obviously it's a different name for Buffalo, but Buffalo Psychiatric Center Parking Only. This is an original sign. What's your light in there? Light close. Let me see. Dude. You see what I see? Look. Look. There's a freaking room. Okay, we just got busted by security, okay? Well, we did say we got permission. We got yeah, permission. We didn't get in trouble. We did get permission to come here and explore, but... 10 minutes. The, the, yeah, 10 minutes. We've been here like 30. <laughs> but the guy said that um, people, break people been breaking in, so, and we weren't here to do that, but we, we're going to honor his word and leave, but we've been, we got already got enough stuff for, for what we need. I'm going to end the vlog right here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.